Hey guys, Seafood Les Clements here. Again, Black Dragon Kung Fu, thanks for watching. So I was able to get down to the river again. And this is good because I want to demonstrate this, uh, some techniques about crane. So the last couple of videos was about leopard and I touched on tiger. But I'm gonna go back and do some more hand set techniques from crane, right? So I'm gonna talk about the basic attacks that the crane has. What kind of weapons does the crane have? Crane has the beak for one. Okay. Big, long range weapon they can hit. And remember, the crane is the master of range, so he can appear to only be this far away. He can really hit. Okay? Crane's beak, the fingers come together. They start hitting things with this. Little gradually over time, very lightly. And eventually, they're hitting stone, hitting trees. I know these poor trees catch all the grief, right? From the tiger and the leopard shredding on them, banging their bones. Now the crane hitting their beak against the tree, right? Yeah, twisting, twisting. Here's a basic crane technique. Side beaks, legs are here, strike. You see these beaks cut at angles, so we have long, we have short, short, pecking. Now this is really good for hitting the backs of the fist. Someone's punching you, it's really good for coming down. Crane is really good at pinpoint precision. This hurts really hard. This here, okay, here. Also, the back of the wrist here. The beak can be used this way. This is a big hook, too. You can hook. You see this in Wing Chun, hooks out, right? It's a hooking technique. Also, with crane, the beak can hook down, trap the hand, strike up. Crane has an arsenal of techniques. So we have the beak, <clears throat> we have the wing. See how the hand moves here? Just like this, this ridge of the bone. So the crane's wings can come here, 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 here. So crane is about precision. So with the hand movements aren't going a lot of circular power like that, <clears throat> there's stillness and stepping. Stillness and stepping, stillness to stepping, right? So one of the favorite crane stances is the T-stance. So you see, <clears throat> the practice of standing on one leg becomes challenging on the rocks. It was even a little difficult for me there. Practicing up and down. I was stepping in holes on bumps, and that's the thing, is crane is adjustment to terrain. Okay, so simple techniques. Keep it really simple with crane. Standing. Now these motions that I was just doing fast was just a demonstration. But you see how the hand techniques, here's the crane's wing. This can slash across the pupils. In the old days, some of the masters would attach small razor blades on the tips of their fingers so they can attack assailants who are coming toward them, attack the eyes, right? Or 
strike this way. Now the world isn't so brutal anymore, but just gives you an idea of the links these people uh, made to survive against predators, other humans. So crane wing, crane beak, crane bones, elbows. So with crane, I have the long wings and I have the short wings. Short wings are close. See, so white crane, any of these styles are just as dangerous, super close as they are as long distance, right? Okay, so these elbows of crane made their way right into Wing Chun. Chum Q, right second form. Chum Q elbow, side to side. Buji elbow, down, 45, see? So all straight from crane and snake, of course. So if you like this video, click the like button. Even better if you can subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you for Les Clement out.